In this video, I'm speaking about how to identify your niche as a startup entrepreneur. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I'm speaking to you about how to identify a profitable niche as someone who's, you know, maybe you're struggling to find ideas as to what to start your business on. Now the first thing I would do is make a list of all of the things that you know you are really good at because the last thing you want to do is start a business about something you're not good at, you know, because people are going to be paying you money for either your products or your services for your expertise in a certain field. So if you're good at it, then it definitely will help. You don't have to be expert or in your mind, you don't have to be the best at it. You just have to be the best at marketing it. So just try and identify the things you're good at. So it might be sports, um, in particular, it might be basketball, it might be fishing, you know, it might be singing. Identify whatever it is that you know you are good at that you could possibly package and sell. So the second thing you wanna do is go through your list. So let's say for example, you have identified 10 things on your list that you know you're really good at. Now you want to number them one to 10 based on the things that you really enjoy the most. So number one would be the thing that you enjoy the most. Number two will be the thing that you enjoy second most. Now the last thing you wanna do is start a business on something that you don't enjoy. You might be good at something, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you enjoy that thing. And you're going to be doing this business, you know, hopefully for the rest of your life or, you know, for at least an extended period of time. So you want to make sure that the thing you identify is not just something you're good at, but it's something that you really enjoy doing and you can see yourself doing, you know, for the foreseeable future. So let's say number one on your list is fishing. So you, you know you're good at fishing and it's number one as the thing that you enjoy the most. The third thing you want to do is see if there's anything you can generate a business out of that. You know, so you might say, okay, fishing, you might want to start sourcing fishing related products, you know, maybe fishing lines or fishing hooks um, or, f or fishing bait. And you might want to source those products and start selling them, you know, maybe starting on eBay or Amazon. I've got tutorials um, on how to do that. Or, and start selling them or you know hopefully starting to sell on your own website eventually and maybe even open up your own shop one day selling these um, these products um, or maybe you want to start a business teaching people how to fish so you want to teach people how to um, you know do what you enjoy doing which is fishing or there might be another business idea that you come up with around the whole concept or idea of fishing that could be turned into a business. So the fourth thing to do is to go through all of the business ideas that you generated in stage number three. And you know, our example was fishing. So, um, you know, our first idea was selling products related to fishing on e e eBay or Amazon. And you might go onto eBay and Amazon and realize, wow, the market is completely saturated with products related to fishing. There's just no way to penetrate this market. And again, this is just this is just an example. Um, I'm, this is just an example. But if you did identify that, then you might think, you know, selling fishing related products is not going to work. Um, and then you might look at your other idea of teaching people how to fish. And you might have done your research and found out that wait, there's a good demand, there's a good amount of people who are willing to pay good money to learn how to fish. Um, so that might you might wanna take that idea to the next stage and start developing a business plan around that. But if you identify that all of your business ideas related to fishing come to nothing and you, you don't think there's any merit or any potential in those ideas, then go back to your list that we developed in number one, um, stage number one, and identify what your second most enjoyable thing was on that list and then just go through the same process with that number one number two number three until you find that one business plan that you really believe in that you can start to develop so i hope this video really helped you to find your niche um, if it did then please click the like button down below for more tips and tricks to start in a successful e-commerce business make sure you subscribe to my channel but until next time guys have a great day and i'll see you soon